probably gonna take him down the ramp. Come on. It's only one way down. Okay, so today I'm gonna bring out two of my Malawa puppies. I'm gonna teach them to run a, a mini ramp so that when they get a little older, I can teach them to run the big ramp. But I'm gonna show you just how I do it and how I get my dogs used to running ramps and jumping on tables. And I always start with the miniature ones and then I move up to the big ones, but we all gotta start somewhere. I don't use any commands. I lure them onto these uh, objects so that when they see it later on and I'm telling them like up and here and place, they understand where I want them to go and what I want them to do. So I'm gonna share that with you guys real quick. It's about a 10 minute video, so don't forget like and subscribe to the video comment whatever it is uh, so that we can keep making great content for you and show you guys how to get things going with your pup and eventually into a dog if you guys want to see more videos from us like subscribe and comment we would like to continue making more videos to help you out with what you're doing with your dog so support us by subscribing to our channel so that we can continue to make more great videos with dog training and to get you on your way to where you're trying to be. Thanks again. Sit. Good boy. Sit. So my objective with these puppies at this point, with the Belgian Malawas, is to get them to run up a ramp, to sit and jump on a table. So what I'm going to do when I first start initially doing this, I'm just going to lure them onto these objects. I'm not going to give them a command and do anything fancy. I'm just going to use a, a treat to lure them up on top of these objects. So by the time I finish, I should be able to touch that object or walk over to that object, whether it's the ramp or the table, and they will immediately jump on there. Okay, so we're just teaching them the game. We're getting them to understand that when we're near right these objects, once we start giving them, we'll add in commands later, like up and here and place. But right now, we're just working on them learning how to operate and go up and down these objects. So this is what we're doing right here. We're just showing them by luring them onto the platform. Uh, and luring is basically placing a treat near their face. They can't really eat it. They'll chase it. So wherever you, you, you move your hand and you move your hand to, they're going to follow. So if it's going to go up the ramp, down the ramp, um, onto the table, vice versa. So we're just luring them onto these uh, platforms. And then we will progress into patting the, the platform or giving a command to place or pointing at it, casting them to the object. Come on. Gotta teach them to go up the ramp, come down the ramp. I don't do it. Come here. Come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. There you go. Come on. You can push yourself back up. He pushed himself all the way back up when I got him all the way down. Watch this. Oh, good boy, good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Now you gotta get down. Now you gotta get down. Good boy. Good boy. So now I got both of them up. Both of them are up. Just go down. Good boy. So, this is easy. If you do it with a puppy, this is building confidence. If he can go up a ramp, he can come down the ramp. Oh. 
collar came off. Don't! Crazy. Good boy. Sit. So here, Good what I'm boy. doing is I'm taking them over to the table. It's a small table so that they can jump on it and I can start working on sit. But in between that, uh, Choker decided, Chucky decided that he was wanting to play with the toys. So we're going to take a five second and uh, bring out the tug so that we can keep working on his drive. This is important because he does detection work. So we're going to work on his drive with a tug and he's going to play with it for a little bit. And then he's going to steal it from me and go hide it somewhere. So that's pretty much what happened there. And then I was able to work with Joker, getting him back on the table so that he could start working on his sit. So that's, that's Chucky right there and he's off to hide hide his toy and keep it from me so then i just took joker and put him back on the table and start working on his sit and if you notice in this he does really good once he's alone so it's really good to there use go. this when you first initially introduce this to a puppy as a group setting if you're able to do that and you have multiple puppies but once you know that the puppy oh understands what you want them to do, oh then you want to separate the puppies and you want to do this individually with each puppy. But it helps build confidence because puppies, uh, they they feed off each other. So if one would initially would not jump on the table and they see another one do it, then they'll do it. So it's easy to help uh, speed up training. So if you have to do that, do that. But once you know that they can do that, then go ahead and separate and start doing this one-on-one -on -one and don't use two or three puppies because they'll distract each other. But right now, I'm just using those two to feed off each other, to sit on the table, to go up the ramp and build confidence off each other. So that's what I'm doing. So generally after this, um, they will always do this alone. They won't be with a sibling when they do this so that they will, I will have more attention. They'll have their attention more. So this is their first time ever doing this type of training. So I'm using their energy off each other to give them confidence for them to do it. And you see, you know, we first started doing this. They really didn't have any confidence to stay on the table and sit. And after the second round, they're like sitting, except for Chucky, he keeps trying to jump on me. But uh, Joker is actually sitting there. He's being patient, waiting on the tree. So that's what we're doing in this portion of training this part so once you realize that one puppy has kind of got it then you want to separate them out the litter you know away from the siblings and start working this individually with them every day so when you walk out there you know you're doing really good when you walk out into the field and they just start jumping on all of the uh the jilly courses running the ramps without you even giving them commands so that's what we're doing we're building confidence for them this confidence is going to pay off a lot later once we start getting into doing um protection and detection and things like that so we're building confidence before we start drilling in other training aspects good boy good boy now we did that first round with the um with the uh, ramp we're gonna go back and see how they do this time come on come on good, good boy he went straight up he went straight up and straight down. <laughs> that was awesome. Come on, Chucky. Come here. So they're both just going straight up. Chucky's sliding down. Come on, man. What are y'all doing? Chucky, come on. Come on. Chucky up. Straight up, straight down. Chucky, don't do it. Crazy. Chucky like a stunt man. You notice that, Brian? Mm-hmm. Chucky, don't do it. He just wants to jump straight off of this down here. Where'd you get back up here? I don't want him doing that because I don't want him hurting himself. Malawas are ridiculously crazy. Hey! Good boy! Look at that! Look at that big boy! 
He just run up there like a big dog. Huh? Good boy. Come on. This is my athletic one. Chucky, you're gonna be big, so. Good boy. This is a 12 week old Belgian Malinois puppy that can run a ramp. Like it's nothing. I only see this in my working line. Shepherds and mouths. It's unbelievable. Joker. So this is Joker. Of course, this is Chucky. You know why. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Those are my mouths, so... You can see right here, he learned that if I step over here, he's gonna go up. Uh, 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 uh. We did all that in less than five minutes, so that is how it works. And when they're full grown, they'll be jumping over this thing. Uh, this is how you start working with them with agility. You got a small one, uh, Brian to turn around. When, when they're a little bigger, they'll be running a big one. Um, so that's how we started doing agility. With We started with puppies, working puppies. Um, Malawas are crazy, so you got to be careful with them. They'll jump off of anything, so you don't want to put them up too high so that they don't hurt themselves and injure like their leg or something like that. But we start building this confidence now. When we start working them in protection and things like that, they're going to be awesome. They're going to be amazing dogs. So I'll get them going early. I know, I know, I know. I know. We get them going early and we build the drive. This is Chucky and this is Joker. Before we get started, like my video, subscribe to my channel so that we can continue making great content for you and your dog.